Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Nobody's and welcome to Rift Wizard. Now, those who know me might know that I really like magic in video games. If you've been around the ch channel for a while, you'll remember that I even tried to do a short series of what people charitably called video essays on magic in video games. And I decided, hey, why don't I try checking out more magical games? And this one came highly recommended. I went and watched some Retromania and some Wanderbots playing this game, I think it was. And honestly, the whole thing looks really amazing. So, here we are in our retro pixel graphic wizard game. Now, I'm not actually a big fan of the retro pixel graphic thing, but it can be forgiven when it comes to playing a pretty good game. The way this game works is pretty simple. There are 25 levels or realms, as they call them in game, and you have to beat up monsters, close gates, in order to progress from level to level. So we've got our gates here that spawn enemies, we have our wizard, and we have the bad guys. Bad guys will have health, resistances, damage, and all of that. And the thing that really sets this game apart is the large selection of spells and skills you can learn and how they interact with one another. We start off with one skill point that we can use to learn any of these spells, Death Bolt, Fireball, Icicles, Lightning Bolt, Magic Missile, Poison Sting, and Summon Wolf. And like I said, we have to use these spells we can learn in order to beat up the bad guys, destroy the gates, so that we can move on through these rifts. This is a fairly strategic game, something like, um, I would say on uh, maybe a more complex level than even Slay the Spire, because every level you're going to be dealing with enemies who have a variety of resistances that you just have to be able to account for. For instance, I think that these red goblins here are probably going to be resistant to fire, which means our first spell we may not want to be fireball. Fireball can generally be a pretty good spell because it has a high number of charges, a decent amount of damage, and it operates in an AoE. However, if we are going to potentially be going through here to deal with red goblins, that may be less of a thing we want to do. So let's see. I think, personally, I genuinely think that the best starting spell is Death Bolt. It deals a considerable amount of damage to low-level enemies, and if you kill them with it, you get a Scala Buddy, which is really good. Generally, I'll start with Death Bolt, because it does, I think, only one or two points less than most of the other spells here. Actually... It does just about the same as every other spell except for Lightning Bolt and Magic Missile. It has a respectable number of charges, the same as Fireball. Man. Yeah, Icicle might be the only one that has more. Two target and one tile around the area? Oh. Yeah, but Icicle's pretty weak, so... Magic Missile's whole deal is being that, you know, Magic Missile, that basic cantrip. And, like, essentially, Death Bolt, in my mind, is what happens when you, like, marry Magic Missile and Wolf into one spell. Yeah, it's effectively two spells for one. I know you have to kill the enemy first, but hey. So we're gonna learn the Death Bolt spell. And now we get to move around, and we've gotta kill the bad guys. So we're gonna use our Death Bolt. To shoot ourselves a goblin, and oh my god, look at that, we now have a friendly skeleton with us. This guy can body block for us, and he's gonna deal damage on his own. When you kill an enemy with death bolt, they come back to life as a skeleton with the same number of hit points they had, like max hit points, so he's gonna have 7 HP, oh my god. Ah, they spawn like every three turns, that's gonna suck. Okay, now I don't know how priority works here between allies and enemies. So they're going to deal damage to one another at the same time. So 
Our ally is going to operate before enemies. We'll be able to tell by our skeleton friend's HP. It does look like they do, which is good. Alright. Let's go ahead and blast this guy. And we're just going to use them to clear out the goblins up ahead. Alright. Now... We have a limited number of charges per spell. Every spell has its own number of charges, so if we use Death Bolt 18 times, we can no longer cast it at all. Unless, of course, we can recharge it with something like a Mana Potion or other skills and spells. Alright, so the game is hugely about how you spend your resources. For instance, I probably don't want to use if I can avoid using death bolt again I want to I can't all right there we go so once you cleared out all of your enemies there are also rewards laying around memory orbs give us skill points which we can then go on to use to learn new spells and skills. Skills are different from spells. They are passive abilities that tend to buff your spells, abilities, allies, and whatever. So Hungry Dead here makes it so that our undead gain the hunger ability, which every turn, um, that is when we move a single tile, or every three turns, will deal five dark damage to a single target up to two tiles away. And will heal that ally for that amount for the amount of damage dealt. Which is actually pretty good. I think this is a really fun one to have. Um, we of course can't afford it right now. We have three skill points to spend. Generally, you want to start out spending your spell your skill points on spells. Yeah, we'll want to be we'll want to figure out relatively early on if we can what kind of magic we want to do. Each area, like you can see here, has its own set of enemies, its own set of rewards you can see in advance, and they all have some sort of shrine or long-term reward of some form. So, here there is a holy circle that we can use to get holy spells for cheaper. Which is pretty good. Holy spells tend to like buff up our allies a lot. Or Choir of Angels is probably my favorite. Because this they will just tear through um, undead and dark units. Unfortunately, they do tear through our own allies, I believe. But they tend to have a bunch of buffing spells and so on through here. So yeah. This is a ruby heart, which is just bonus max HP. They have displacer beasts in there. I'm not certain we're going to be able to take those on. Elixir of Youth. I don't know what that does. Bats and giant bats. One of the nice things about our death bolt spell is that if we kill flying opponents with it, um, our skeleton will fly. Sorcery spells are interesting because they're sort of just a catch-all. Oh, I accidentally hit the uh, skills. Mm. Here we go. So sorcery is sort of a catch-all for all sorts of different unique abilities. Not gonna lie, soul tax sounds pretty useful. Just having the ability to heal. Because you don't just regain hit points at the end of each floor. You have to carry it over from floor to floor. Cast each of your level 1 sorcery spells on each enemy in a cone. See, now that sounds useful. Because that's just like a confetti of like blasting people. And it would be all of these. Fireball, Icicle, Lightning Bolt, Poison Sting, Magic Missile, all of them. Um... Hmm. So we could go in there and get cheaper access to these level 2 and 3 abilities. Or, is there a level 4 sorcery that's, like, particularly useful? 
Death Shock. Death Shock's really good because this can deal like 34 damage to a target. And then if it kills that target, it'll just jump to the next target to cast it again. That's really powerful. So it can only hit up to three targets, but if we spend eight on it instead of uh, four, we can get it to bounce to an infinite number of targets. I think we're going to aim for Death Shock because, yeah, this one does give us sorcery. The bonus health would be nice. Well, we can look through the rifts without going through them. So let's step through here real quick. What does the Elixir of Youth do? All charges, all spell charges spent are instantly refunded. Holy crap. That is insanely powerful. I don't think it's particularly useful right now, unfortunately. I think we'd be better off going and getting um, the Death Shock spell. We get three skill points per floor, and ooh, this makes it so that upgrades are cheaper as well. Which means we may be able to immediately get the upgraded version of that Death Lightning. This map layout isn't bad. So we're going to have some trouble with the giant bats. But there are only three of them it looks like. Three? Two? Only two of them it looks like. Nine turns to spawn the next bat. So... How about we if we pop down like here and go bat uh death bolt death bolt have them start eating through their own gates yeah there we go and like I said they'll start eating through these gates to uh. Okay, we got one of our skeletons immediately sort of fighting off other hostiles, and we now have another bat. Okay, this guy is gonna be a problem. How about we help our skeleton out here? And nine more damage. There we go, we have our own skeleton bat now. You know what? Let's get you on side as well. You deal 5 damage, so does Skelebat. Which means, as long as we're supporting our bat friend, um, oh, you know what? We're gonna let him get down to 9 HP and then finish him off. This should help us spend as few spells as possible. All right, and yeah, these two should just be able to, at this point, finish off the enemies. Excellent. So, we go around collecting up the different stuff. We have two mana potions, two healing potions. Change the destination of all portals in the current level. Well, that's nice. Okay, so what are we looking at here? Spark Imp, that's pretty bad, because they're going to be resistant to lightning. Which is like the spell we're looking to pick up. Bats, ghosts, and a witch. Let's check out what they've got going on in here. Not gonna lie, they're like nice and tightly packed together. The witches have a fair amount. So they summon ghosts. Ooh. Okay. They are 50% resistant to dark. 50% resistant to dark, but none of them have over 17 HP. One of the benefits of this Death Bolt spell, or Death Lightning, whatever it's called, Dark Lightning? Death Shock. Is that it deals both lightning and dark damage. So while it probably won't deal its full amount of damage to any of the enemies, there were none that were, like, resistant to both, was there? 
holy fire. No, nobody hears resistance to lightning, which is really good. Let's see. In here, they are resistant to both dark and lightning. Okay. Yep, we're not doing it. And honestly, that's 25 hit points, so is this one. Yeah, we're just going to come down here and check out the new spell. So, if we step off here, we'll go over here and see... Lightning. Death Shock costs 4. We step onto the pad, and Death Shock will go to ca costing 3. Excellent. And now, we can upgrade Death Shock as well with infinite cascade there's no limit to the number of targets death shock can cascade to this is really important because otherwise like i said before it can only hit three people and that's just not good enough i mean and it's a four tile range after the first hit that's really good oh my god we can upgrade it again to being nine tiles or is that it gains cascade five yeah, i think that does that make it nine or does that actually just make it five Damage? Gain 7 damage? I, I'm gonna assume that that takes it up to 9. That's insane. This spell's gonna be really good. Alright, let's go take on these witches. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 2, 3, 4. <gasps> I did not mean to start there. Oh, God. Okay, we're just gonna... Ooh, if I shock this witch... Can we get it to bounce to that gate? Nope. Okay. Look, I need you to start tearing down this gate behind me. While I let the enemies sort of accumulate nearby. What was that noise? Okay, we are, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna attempt this. All right, you go. Yes! That's what we like to see. Okay. One, two, three. So if I kill this guy behind me, it should also bounce to him, him, him. And then there's a chance it goes north, in which case it only kills these two. But then it should hit this bat gate as well and possibly destroy it. Or it'll go one, two, three, four, five. All right, let's see what it does. Nothing. Oh, it bounced to the gate behind it. Oh, that was really unfortunate. There we go. That's what we wanted to see happen. Alright. Let's see here. So we don't have to wait till the end of the level to gather stuff up. It is going to be easier if we do. But for instance, if we thought that gathering, gathering this ruby heart would be easier, we may just want to do that. Um, let them close in a bit more. One, two, three, four. Upgrading that cascade range is going to be huge. One. So I wonder, is he, is this ghost in range? Because if so, it would go one, two, three, four. Let's see. No. Okay. Oh. You're in range. Damn. Okay, that didn't go the direction I wanted it to. We want to get rid of this ghost gate. Oh my god, that didn't destroy it. Um. Au revoir. <laughs> Alright, goodbye ghost gate. Now, we are out of spells... We could try and just rely on our bat friend. However, 
I think that that's not going to be a very advisable idea. Wait. Hello? Oh my god. Bat friend. How do you do it? Oh. These guys are immune to physical damage, though. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to put in some work here. However... One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think they're all close enough. Got them. All right. And now we just gather our rewards. We got ourselves a stone shield. Gain immunity, physical, fire, and ice damage for 30 turns. That's pretty nice. Now, 30 turns might sound like a really, really long time, but remember, every square is one turn. Aether Dagger. Enemy units in line of sight of the user lose all resistances and immunities. That is a huge deal. Oh my god. <laughs> Furnace Shrine. For each 100 damage dealt by the spell or minion it summoned, summon a Furnace Hound near the unit it dealt damage. Okay. Now, the thing is, our Death Shock is a dark spell. Furnace Hounds are just wolves, so they have like 12 HP and deal 5 fire damage or something. It's not amazing, but it is very funny. Whenever this spell or a minion deals damage to an enemy, that enemy is poisoned for that many turns, maybe. Deals damage, you gain 100 resistance to that type of damage for 3 turns. So we could start becoming immune to lightning and dark damage. That's like, fine. This would be much more useful if I had a sorcery spell that dealt a, a bunch of different kinds of damage. Like... Although... <laughs> so... This is one of the areas where we could look at our um, our skills. So there is Holy Thunder. Half of all your lightning damage is redealt as holy damage. Like <laughs> if we got Holy Thunder, we'd become immune to dark. Holy and lightning damage. Whenever we cast Death Shock. Which would be incredibly funny. I don't think it's particularly valuable. It would just be very funny in my mind. Let's see here. So I like this furnace shrine here. Ooh, those are metal enemies. Let's see here. You are resistant to lightning. Oh. However, they're not resistant to dark damage, which is good. The goats are resistant to dark damage, however, they're not resistant to lightning. Everybody here has less than 17 hit points. Oh my god. Yeah, we could just j dump in here, <laughs> go straight to the furnace shrine. Okay, 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 okay. So I think we are going to do that. But before that, we are of course going to increase our cascade range. Wait, so is this bonus 7 damage to both sides of the spell? Does it go from dealing 34 damage to dealing 48 damage? That's insane. That is genuinely insane. Alright, so yeah, let's go with cascade range here. That way it cascades even further. And I think, so it's a range of 9... So one, two, three, four, five, six. So it should go Goesha, Witch, Steel Spider, Witch. Or maybe it'll go to this Steel Spider. The thing is, if we can dump in straight on this Furnace Shrine and Death Shock, we may be able to get some Furnace Hounds right away, which would be incredibly funny. Let's do it. All right, so Death Shock, Attunement, let's go. All right, let's see, it. Let's see if this works. That did not work. Please die. <laughs> yes, that's what we wanted to see. Oh, and look, puppers. This is our friendly furnace hound. Oh, oh, it is much stronger than I thought. And it's resistant to lightning and dark damage. Damn. Each turn, deal one fire damage to enemy units in a four tile radius. Okay, so he's just going to start tearing through enemies. That is incredible. You resist dark damage, you resist dark damage. You don't, but you have more than uh, nine hit points, so I don't know if I necessarily want to bother with that. You're also not living. One of the upgrades we can do to Death Bolt. No, not Death Bolt. What was I thinking? Oh, okay, it's one of the other undead spells. Okay, so targeting this ghost would probably kill all three of these. I wonder if it would jump up to this mantis. There's like a small chance it could. Would it be worth it though? Yeah, let's try it. Nope, didn't work. Okay. Well, I think we can just let our dogs do the rest of the work here. Oh my god. They're absolute madmen. 
get them? Pepperoni. All right. Oh my god. Look at him go. What a good dog. Okay. So we can get a ruby heart and some mana potions, which is not necessary immediately. The bonus health would be really useful, though. They do have spark imps here, which are both resistant to dark and lightning, so we would have to rely on the uh, furnace dogs to take them down. A Mystic Shrine. Enhance Arcane Spells with plus 3 range and 50% max charges. Hmm. Ooh, these guys have a decent chance of surviving our attacks, though. Chance, I say, they would survive those. The, uh, the Death Shocks. The Spriggans wouldn't. So, there are two options there. One option is to get a different spell. Another option would be to finish upgrading Death Shock. Because that damage increase seems pretty significant. Soul Battery seems really interesting on Death Bolt. Just the ability to uh, accumulate more and more damage on it. As it cuts down enemies. Maybe we should go for that, just so we can get some scaling going. So there's a Conjuration Circle here. Um, which means we've got cheaper access to some Conjuration Spells. Are there any Conjuration Spells that I'm particularly looking forward to? Chimera Familiar, Floating Eyes. The Restless Dead's a pretty fun one. So this one makes us that if a living enemy is slain, they come back as a skeleton. Which means with our Death Shock, if we if we face living enemies, then we will uh, we'll, we'll deal a fair bit more. I guess I should also be looking at arcane spells to see if teleport all units in three tile radius to a random location. All right, that's pretty funny. That's actually really good, isn't it? Nightmare aura is pretty tempting. Seven tile radius, so fifty percent max charges. Ooh, dispersion field. Last seven turns. I think disperse would be better. All other spells gain <laughs> additional five range. So, I wonder if this range increase would affect the radius. I don't assume so, actually. So it would only give it one more charge. Maybe not, then. Whenever a spell you cast kills its primary target, that spell is recast on a randomly selected target up to four tiles away, this process is repeated until the target survives the spell, or there are no nearby valid targets. Oh my god, so it turns every spell into Death Bolt? Or into Death Shock? Having that with Death Bolt would actually be very funny. Um, just... <laughs> oh man, I imagine... Um... Just the whole enemy's army raises as skeletons. Steal up to one shield from all enemy units in a line of sight. Meh. So, are there any of these that would be particularly beneficial to give the, what is it, 5 range? 3 range too. Putting it on Aether Swap or Blink could be really good. Just the ability to teleport around more and at farther range. Actually, that's... That is very tempting. 6 out of 6 charges instead of 8 out of 8. The unit takes 16 arcane damage. I think... Blink would be better here. Yeah, and it does seem like the sort of thing that... Maybe it would be better to get this early on, just so I do have sort of that ability to move around more, keep myself safer. So, go with Blink, put the Mystic Shrine on it, have like nine charges of Blink... With like a 9 range, was it? Oh, man. But Aether Swap is so tempting. And we can blind cast it. So effectively, we'd be replacing the teleporter with it. Oh my god, Aether Swap even has a longer range. 10? It's a pretty long range, isn't it? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I mean, that's like half the map right there. 
enemy. No, I think Blink's gonna be better here. Yeah, let's let get let's get Blink so that we can keep ourselves safe. And we are immediately gonna pop in. I'd say pop in on the shrine. Oh, oh no. I didn't upgrade the damage of death of uh, death shock. That's going to be a problem. <laughs> Wait, all of the rifts are down here. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. So we pop in here. We get the mystic attunement. We death shock that guy. Death shock that guy. Blink our way away. Death shock. No. You resist dark damage, but if we succeed, so, resistance isn't, it reduces the amount of damage. What resistance does in this game is it's a roll. So, 25% um, chance that it'll deal damage to it. That didn't work. Um, negative 100% resist to uh, fire damage. I like it. Um, all right, Spriggan. There we go. That's what you like to see. Come on. Down you go. Um. There we go. And pop, pop. Oh, that didn't kill this guy. Got him. <laughs> All right, we got a friendly skeleton tree ant. And yeah, they should be able to take out the last of them. Fantastic. Okay, so we've got the four skill points. Maybe we should use it to improve our death shock. Well, what are we looking forward to? A fire circle, an energy shrine, plus one max charges, on kill, gain one shield. Are we able to put more than one thing on? Can be applied only to sorcery enchantments limit one shrine per spell. That's unfortunate. Because putting that on death shock would have been really good. Shield just straightforward ignores damage. Um, hmm. Arcane or Lightning spell. Still, it could be worth earning a new spell for that. Let's check out what we got here. So we have sorceries, sorcery, sorcery. I don't think that... Gain two damage for each frozen or glassed enemy? No. And then sorcery spells gain seven damage, two range, and two max charges. Okay, that could be really cool with death shock. <laughs> just, just everything is death shock. It's fine. What are we looking at with blink here? So dark blink. Blink deals dark damage in a three tile upon arrival. The damage is equal to twice the distance traveled. Rounded up. Can be upgraded with only one damage type. So it's either dark or lightning. Five max charges, three range. Gains negative one. Requires line of sight. Can be cast without line of sight. Oh. Okay, blind casting sounds really useful. Let's see here. So, what were we looking at again? It was on kill, gain one shield. Putting that on, like, Chain Lightning would be really good. No, if I were to have it at all, I think I'd want to put it on Chain Lightning. 
And you know what? Chain Lightning does look pretty good as a spell. So this will turn Chain Lightning into a defensive spell, sort of. I like it. Alright, where is it at? So here's the shrine. You have 20 hit points, you have 25 hit points. This deals 8 damage. Ooh, we may actually have already moved past the point where Chain Lightning's useful. Well, no, we can upgrade the damage on Chain Lightning. I need to not be so... Alright, less quick to jump to conclusions there. So, 8... 16 damage? Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, it still can't kill anything, really. Hmm. Well, I mean, we're stunk with the choice now. Let's grab it and do it. We'll replace Mystic Attunement. We'll replace Furnace Attunement. Yeah. Target him. Ow. Alright, and kill. Oh my god. Wait, did it just hit all of those things? It did. Wait. Wait. They have lightning protection? Oh no. That's bad. Alright, Durger. Um... 12 damage, so I need... I need one more skill point to upgrade Deathbolt. That's unfortunate. What does lightning protection do here? 50% resist lightning? Um, do I want to try to turn the small worm ball? I think so. Oh, this is not good. Alright, turn the big worm ball. Turn the small worm ball? No. Turn them into shields for me, please. Shield me! Shield me. Yes. Okay. See, that's the sort of thing we wanted to see from our uh, chain lightning. Okay. You know what? Let's just keep turning balls and spiders into skeletons. We're going to save as much mana as we can. Unfortunately, at this point, we really can't. So, you know what it's time for? It's time for the Death Shock. Alright, Death Shock, please. Death Shock, please! Do we have the Furnace Dogs? We do have the Furnace Dogs. Oh god. Alright, get zapped. Excuse me? Oh, you have five shielding as well? Alright, you're out of shielding. Goodbye, friend. Whew! I'm glad my shielding held up better than theirs. I think at this point, our furnace dog should be able to take out everything. Yeah! Go furnace dog. 
Those things were such a good investment. Icy Spriggan Shrine. Whenever you cast this spell, summon an Ice Spriggan near the target for a nature or ice spell, maybe. Oh my god. Okay, this area looks terrifying. Mechromancer. Resists poison. Reconstitution. Heal 25. Oh my god. <sighs> the Metal Mantises only have 12 health. And don't resist dark, which is good. Evil Fae. Don't resist dark nor lightning. Okay, okay, this place is a lot less intimidating. Now that I know I can kind of just eat their allies. But I don't know if I necessarily want an ice spell. We got a ruby heart, which would be useful. Alchemy shrine. Whenever you use an item, gain one charge of this spell. Oh my god. I'm not gonna lie, that is pretty insane. What would I want to put that on? <sighs> Cause that this is this is the one I want. <laughs> Enhance any spell. Ooh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I think... Regain all charges of a random other spell, which currently has no remaining charges. This. Could that upgrade Mystic Memory? Can I just get infinite spells with every item? Hold on, that can't be it. That can't be true. Okay, hold on. Yeah, we're gonna learn Mystic Memory and grab that shrine. There's a lot of items here. All right, we, we, need, to, we need to scout this place first. Oh my God. Oh my god, it's perfect. Oh my god, <laughs> look at how tightly packed in they are. I can pop in right here. Hit this guy with Death Shock, which should then cascade to almost all of his friends. And then start making my way over to the alchemist shrine. Oh my god. Alright, pop in here. Alright, plan. Go wrong. Alright, go off, king. I've got more shielding, good. Okay, okay. They are standing between me and the thing I want, which is fine, honestly, with me, because I can teleport. Now, we're gonna take this opportunity to learn that spell. What was it called? Memory something? Was it a sorcery? No. Was it arcane? Mystic memory. Here we go. Learn that. Okay. Now, we're going to death shock the shit out of you. Chain lightning only does eight damage. Rip. Okay, so we go here. Mystic Memory. Whenever you use an item, gain one charge of the spell. Whenever you use an item. Okay, so we go here. Mystic Memory. Boom. Okay. 
And now I use, say, a healing potion. And I regain a charge of mystic. Oh my god. That is insane. That is incredible. Alright, I wonder if my wolves have got it from here. Like, oh my god. Alright, my wolves should have it, I assume. Oh. Hello, friend. How are you? Nice to meet you. Oh my god. This is incredible. Oh my yes. So now, we can just sort of use up our spells. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, I think we have a chance of actually like beating this. Which would be awesome, because I've not beaten this game yet. I didn't even think it was possible, almost. We're looking at an earthquake orb. A dragon's horn, which means we can summon a dragon into literally every square. And a stone shield. Just, oh my god. So, the craziest part about all of this... Wait, max charges. One max charge. Oh. I don't even think we need that. I wonder, are there arcane skills? Oh my god. Whenever you use the last charge of an arcane spell, your next non-arcane spell is free for one turn. I mean, that's... <laughs> so, because Mystic Memory only has one charge, we can take advantage of arcane accounting to go Mystic Memory, arcane account, which will trigger arcane accounting for whatever other spell. Oh my word. Whenever you cast an arcane spell, if you have no shielding, gain one shielding. And that's pretty good. Whenever a unit is killed by an arcane by arcane damage, that unit explodes for, explodes for 12 arcane damage in a three tile square, melting walls on affected tiles. That's hilarious. <laughs> Whenever you or a unit deals physical damage, if the source is shielded, redeal 50% of that damage as arcane and 50% as holy. Oh my god. Just, there's so many opportunities here. Arcane spells gain two max charges. Arcane or Undead Allies, nope. Yeah, so Arcane Accounting and Arcane Shielding are really the things we'd be looking at here. Oh my god. <laughs> so... The craziest part of all of that is that there are some very high-level word spells that all only have one charge. Heal yourself and all units, all living units fully. Deal 25 damage to demons and, un, uh, un, and undead units. Stun arcane units. And again, I can just use this and then use mystic memory to get it right back. This doesn't have a range. Oh my god. Stun each enemy for six turns and teleport them to a random tile. 45 lightning damage to all fire enemies. 45 fire damage. Each enemy each enemy construct loses all physical resistance and takes 45 physical damage. Oh my god. Berserk all units except for the caster. Deal dark damage to all construct units equal to half their HP. Fully heal all demons. Yeah, we're going to start 
We're going to invest in a word spell, I think. Because that's awesome. Frozen for five turns. Damn. I like Word of Madness here. I like Word of Beauty and Word of Madness. I think those both sound good. Learn new skill. Do we have one for... Is there a word skill? Whenever you finish a level, gain a charge of each of your words... Oh my god. This is... This is too much. Okay. So we just need to get... We just need to make it through two more levels. Large toxic worm. Same. Living scroll of lightning. Okay, how bad is this level? Poison resistance. Fine. Scrolls of lightning. Obviously lightning resistant. Kills the caster? Oh. Oh, okay. Kills the person who casts that ability. Gotcha. I was like, are they just threatening to instantly gib me? That would have that would have been unfair. Um, all right. So I cannot kill any of them with chain lightning. I'm very disappointed by this. I can insta kill with death shock and I think I can insta kill any of them with death shock honestly. Yeah, I think I can insta kill all of them with death shock actually. Very funny, very funny. I like this. So. Oh, these aren't walls. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so if we start like here and death shock that guy. Yeah, we instantly get a bunch of happy woofers. What am I getting? Okay, and death shock you. And next up. Nope. Not quite close enough. Still not close enough. Alright, dogs, just take care of them. And we death blink you. And I think the wolves have got it. Good. <laughs> and now we can just mystic memory away our problems. Just instantly back to death wish power. Oh my god. And the moment I use any item, I just get it back. That is incredible. So at this point, we almost want to focus on whatever area gives us the most items. <laughs> so I can use an earthquake orb to take down all the walls. Get my mystic memory back. Oh my god. This is... <laughs> It's too much. We've done too much. We've gone too far. Arcane. So what is the highest level arcane ability? Multicast. Whenever you cast a sorcery spell, copy it. So wait, I can start double casting Death Shock? <laughs> That's for three turns? Okay. What's copies? There are so many things here. I have a deep curiosity stemming from the fact that I now have effectively limitless spell casting. I think we want to get that word of beauty thing going. Micronome? <laughs> what a name. So we can get some health potions. At this point, what do we want to do? I do like the idea of getting a portal key. 
just so we can like, oh, we could use a portal disruptor to change where each of these go and get our charge of mystic memory back. It's tempting. You know what? Let's just use it. Okay, so Ruby Heart, meh. Ruby Heart, meh. Ruby <laughs> I did a bad. <laughs> this gives us an Oculus. Oculus are fine. Oof. I think we may have hurt ourselves more than help ourselves there. Okay, so we're going to need to get two skill points. So, they're not terribly close together. So, Durger have a chance of surviving our Death Shock, which is really bad. Bone Knights will survive the Death Shock, which is even worse. So, if we start here, I think it's the best chance we have to do good work, really. Range of four summons a Faithorn. If we start here, I think we can Death Shock to this guy to get pretty effective results over here. Alright, Death Shock, you? Hello? Um, what just, why are you not dead? Gain one shield every three turns. Oh. Um, that's not good. Um, oh, I am in a really bad spot, aren't I? Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Heal. Oh, there is a 0% chance that I'm going to kill everybody. Wait! Ooh! Okay, so the Durger are killed by our uh, lightning shock thing. Okay. Blow up the gnome. Blow up the gnome. Yep. Blow up that thing. We can blink to over here. Good. So if we just let the... Uh... Yep, the Dark Knight come over here. And then we teleport over here. And then... Blast you. Yeah. I think we plan to let the, uh... The wolves take care of... Um... Take care of the dead guard here. Ooh, hold on. All right, you. Okay, and blink away. Ow. And boom. Why are you not dead? Okay, okay, okay. I need back up here. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move away. Here we go. Now we go. Berserk all enemies except for the caster. All units except for the caster for five turns. Ooh, this is gonna be bad. 
So I can either go Word of Beauty to heal myself and deal a bunch of damage to demons and undead and stun arcane units. So are you Fire Ice Living, Living Nature Arcane, Undead, Nature Arcane, you are Arcane. Honestly, like it's, no, I think it's, I think we just want to go with Word of Madness here, right? That way enemies start turning on one another. Okay. Speak. And now we just go Mystic Memory. And then we... Death Shock. All right. Oh boy. I think I think we've got this. I think we got this. Um maybe word of memory wasn't or word of madness wasn't the best choice. All right, perfect. <clears throat> there were better choices to make there, definitely. Storm Charge Shrine. For each 15 damage dealt with this spell, deal nine ice or nine lightning damage to a random enemy unit. That's pretty funny, actually. Like, <laughs> I might switch out Chain Lightning to that. Because Chain Lightning is more likely to deal a lot of damage than it is to straightforward kill, I think. I do need something to keep me alive, though. Honestly, the Word of Life or whatever it's called might be the thing I go for there. This has an Elixir of Youth in it. No, let's go for the uh the stone storm charge. Oh my god, there is like no room here. Which actually is good. Yep, cuz if we just dob down right here and we say, "Hey, chain lightning." <gasps> Goodbye. And we just Death Shock. And Death Shock on you. There we go. Come on. Get out of here, old witch. Um, let's just recover our memory a bit. Hey, we got the Word of Madness back. Nice. I... Hmm. <laughs> it happens to be that all of the spells I have access to right now are the bad ones. You know what? Screw you guys. Hilarious. This Frostfire Mage is hilarious. I love him. Also, I might have to use a potion here. I think I'm going to. Alright, mana potion time.
There we go. And I think that's it for this level. Got him. Okay, so we're not invulnerable just yet. We are not immune to death. Summon minions gain a poison damage aura. The aura deals two damage to all enemies within the radius. The radius is equal to the chosen spell's level plus one. So, hmm. Summoned minions gain a poison aura. How do we best take advantage of something like that? Damaged targets are blinded for three turns. That's not great. Oh, two of these have Swamp Shrines on them. This one has Thunderbird at it. Woof. You resist all lightning damage. That's unfortunate. Okay. So what skills can we learn that'll be like particularly useful to us? Because we have to have something we can do here. Minions. Unit is unfrozen. <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't really look like we have anything. Anything we can really learn here. Chaos bodies. Take fire, lightning, and physical damage. Summon an imp. I don't think we can do that. Whenever you cast an arcane spell. Now this, Dark Word Chaos. Okay, yeah, I think Arcane Accounting. Right? Because this will let us multicast things like Word of Madness and so on. If only I could turn Death Shock into a uh, Arcane spell. Actually... Is there like a, what was the high level arcane spell? It was multicast. Hold on now. Hold on now. If we get multicast, if we get multicast onto uh, Mystic Memory, we can get, we can create an infinite loop here. Right? Because you multi, you cast multicast, and let's say both death shock and multicast then are out of casts, you would use word of, uh, or you would use mystic memory, and it would copy itself whenever you cast a sorcery. Hold on. Nope, this is just arcane. Gotcha. Okay, I was wrong. Whenever you cast a sorcery. So what high-level sorceries are there that we could take advantage of? Meteor Shower? Heaven's Wrath? Soul Tax would be interesting. Deal damage to an enemy? Gross. Mega Annihilate? Hilarious name. Cascade? Wait. You can add Cascade to this? Oh, you know I have to try that. <laughs> that is... That is too much right there. Does the lower level of Annihilate have? Okay. Let's grab the lower level of Annihilate. And its cascade says... Hits from Annihilate will jump to nearby targets if the main target is killed. Oh. My. God. <laughs> Annihilate gains one dark. An additional dark hit deals an additional arcane damage hit. So... <clears throat> what is its keyword? Sorcery Chaos? Conjuration, dark, nature, nope. Holy or lightning, nope. Hmm. 
So we could drop in right here. Hold on. What's the range on that cascade? Four? Oh my god, there's no way we're killing that thing in one shot. Okay. Okay, look. I'm feeling a bit more realistic now. So we're going to pop in here, learn that cascade, and just see how it, how it goes. Wait, what's the thing with death shock? No, 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 because death shock we can get wolves out of. I know they're fire wolves and these are fire worms. But also, it's very funny. No, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna drop in here, learn Cascade, all right, and then Annihilate. Excuse me. Die. Please die. Start dying now. Why is nobody, why is not everybody dying here? I specifically requested you to die. Where are all my cascades going? Why am I not cascading? I specifically requested that you cascade. Each turn, all friendly living units are healed for three. Oh. Well. Yeah, that felt like a successful turn. Okay, now, Cascade. Thank you. Um... I don't have any skill points or outside be like maybe I can get some cascade range on chain lightning but alas I cannot I do love seeing the chaos though I am going to get fucked up this turn. I can become immune to fire for 30 turns. Sounds good. You are not immune to physical or lightning damage. Alright, listen. I need you to stop, sir. Absolutely hilarious. Okay. Am I currently dying? Yes. Why? <laughs> I assume I'm taking like lots of dark damage or something. We're just gonna throw that on there. Man, I wish I could identify anything that's happening right now. I am not a very smart person. I have no idea. All 
All right. Who's about to die? Uh, you. Um, let's see here. How can I propagate? Oh, I don't gain shields from chain lightning anymore. Whoop. Well, that's a problem. Uh, are we about to die? I mean, probably not, honestly. Excuse me, sir. Could you not? Um... Death shock you. You know what? You know what? I'm just going up here. Screw you guys. Blow you up a bit. Um, ow. Look, I just need you guys to stop for a moment so I can, uh, <laughs> just, just chill, guys. Just chill. Alright, there are a lot of ghosts on the scene right now, and I don't really appreciate that. <laughs> I am almost dead. You know what, let's just, let's use a mana potion. We, we will figure out how to, uh, how to make what's happening work. I died. Well, that was unfortunate. I noticed the, uh, dragon, or I, I guess I noticed the dragon there, I just didn't think it'd be that big of a threat. <laughs> well, and we get to go through and see every level. Oh, look at us. Level one. How gorgeous. How beautiful. Oh my god. Realm two. What good times. Ah, realm three. What was this? What did we end up with? Not really much new. We we pretty much just relied solely on Death Shock the entire time, right? Death Shock and Flaming Dogs. <laughs> I barely blinked at all, honestly. Ah, uh, Mystic Memory. It was... It was good. It was very good. But that has been Rift Wizard. Honestly, this is a lovely game, and we will probably be seeing a lot more of it, because I have a lot of fun with this sort of thing. I like these sort of instanced games, whatever you would call them. And we did get through 10 of the 25 realms. So, that has been enough for now. In the meantime, y'all just remember, nobody's cares. Thank you very much, and good night. We know this man's one weakness. Piddle on him! Piddle for your life! Just pee on the bad guy, pee on the bad guy! Yes! Get pissed. All right. We're going. We're just gonna go now. <laughs>